Sorry, he's already in trouble. What did you say that All right, well here, let me introduce some of the flight folks that you might not have met yet because they come specifically just to meet you and you'll get a chance in a moment. We have a lot of our PLM uh, folks, our, our facilitators. We have Darren and Mike and Kurt and Rich and uh, we have um, um, Greg Clark, who's our manager of uh, Project, Wing Park, Project Wingman, and of course, <laughs> Jeff Price, our director of line operations. Corey Glenn is our director of pilot recruitment. I see Ma uh, Mark Innes, who is our lead check airman on the seven, uh, check pilot on the 737. Um, behind him is John Mulliter. He's, uh, have you talked to them yet already? Right. Tomorrow, you're gonna, right. he's the manager of the hub control in Dallas. He's gonna give you a lot of great insights. Um, I see Jay Nearland. It's his birthday today. He's our training manager. Happy birthday, yo! On the 737. Uh, to his right, our left, is Lisa Johnson. She's the senior manager of safety and efficiency. Um, Kurt uh, Schumacher, he's our director of flight standards. Um, I see Bob Lines, and with Bob Lines comes Jock Bethune, uh, two of our great eagles who you'll learn a lot about. Um, in fact, they are the ones that uh, collected money that got our, our uh, Knoxville here. So we owe them yep. a debt of gratitude. Uh, Captain Mike Green is our director of flight training. Uh, Brent Plumley is our senior manager of uh, Pilot Ground School. And brand new to us is our training manager on the Airbus, the 320, and that's Ron Kowalski. And who did I leave out? How did we do? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yo, congrats, right on. Go. All right. Well, for you, this is all for you. And, and you should all know that this is probably the largest class we've ever had. We were trying to decide. We think it is. And um, the youngest, or the, the most junior, shall I say, three years. <laughs> Three years is Orin. He is upgrading to ah, captain with ah. just three years. So congratulations Ooh, don't to be <laughs> But for all of you, um, you know how wonderful that it is that we're in the shadow here of the Knoxville, the very aircraft that really transformed the industry that we enjoy today. Um, without the DC-3s, we probably would still be flying the mail and not the passengers, <laughs> right? Um, I would say that it's not a stretch to imagine 80 years in the future to 1940, uh, when the, the DC-3 flew, that you're now standing here on the shoulders of all the captains that came before you. In fact, if you look down, you'll see that you're standing on bricks of names of countless others that have worked their whole careers to help make this airline great, and now it's your turn. Um, as captains of the world's largest airline, this is a culmination of all the things that you have worked so hard to achieve, but it's only the beginning a new beginning where you get to chart the course of what your legacy will be, okay? You get to take all the things that you thought a great captain would be and roll in your own core objectives and, and your core values and add a commitment to fly a safe and standard aircraft for the passengers that are going to entrust you with their care and all while preserving the professionalism, the integrity, and the discipline that our profession demands until you taxi through the car wash of those water cannons on the very last day, okay? Uh, the captains here tonight know something that you're going to learn, and that is that being a captain is not easy. Every time you put the uniform on and step into the flight deck, you become the mayor of a small city, all right? You will uh, make countless decisions, dozens every single day, and the buck will stop with you. When there's tough decisions to be made, think of this night, think of this day, think of this place, the people that have come before you, and I hope you'll choose to do what any good captain would do knowing all the while that there will be sacrifices to be made as you are required to put the needs of others above yourself. And when you do that, you will be living the legacy that was left for you. As PLM, you're here in the PLM class, and the beauty of it is that you get to meet the people, you get to see the resources, you get to have an idea of the support that is behind you so that you can go out with confidence and know that you are never left out on the skinny branches all by yourself because we are here for your success. Your success is our success, okay? So let's drink a toast to our newest captains, the great captains you'll be, and the legacies you will leave. Here, here, here. Yes. Yo. And now I invite our flight leaders to come and congratulate everyone before dinner. <laughs> this might take a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs>